I think of where I was just a year ago and uh, where I am today, uh, it's incredible. And I don't mind saying that there were, there were times when I was fairly discouraged. I was quite frustrated with how things were going in my life at the time. But uh, I, I knew that my life was going to change, that my old life was the past, it was behind me, and uh, it didn't matter anymore because I knew where I was going. The job that I had was, it was a, it was a fairly uh, stressful job. I worked as a, uh, as part of a stationary engineer uh, in part of the uh, cleaning section for the uh, Transit Commission. Uh, the, the, certainly the conditions that I had to work under uh, were, were quite loud and uh, there was always certain things coming and going. You never knew what was going to come next. Um, and I think we've all been there where I was just being a little bit more closely supervised and was comfortable for me. Johnson, you missed something. To be honest, my, my satisfaction with my job uh, was not very high, and quite frankly, my satisfaction for life in general sometimes was waning a bit. The job that I had sort of put me away from uh, the, the public at large, which I enjoy meeting so much. Well, you know, it's like they say, uh, when a student is ready, the teacher appears. I came across this career section in the local, those local newspapers, and it started me to thinking, you know, I started to see the world in a slightly different angle. One night, I, I, I saw this television commercial, and it was like, boom, it just came on at the right time for me. Are you looking for a new career? Your local parking commission is looking for new officers to carry out the duties and functions of maintaining parking laws on our city's streets. You will be a law officer, so to speak, and if accepted, entitled to many benefits and an excellent starting salary. Call your local parking control commission for more information. Uh, the wonderful, wonderful things about public broadcasting is you can reach so many people. You never know who you're reaching, but for me it was a godsend. It took a while to sink in, you know, but uh, then one day it just, it just hit me. And uh, I made a decision on the spot, then and there, that I was going to take action. I had focused. I could see into the future. I could see that the world was now going to belong to me. Because of the kind of job that I have, you know, you can imagine the fact that not everybody's going to agree with your decisions from time to time, but I take that in stride and I realize that, you know, they've got other problems. They're, they're probably not really mad at me. You know, they probably had things that have happened in, in their day that's frustrated them, and I understand that. Ready? Come on, let's get the keys. Come on, come on, come on. What's your cat's name? Chica. Well, I'm sure Chica will be as good as new in no time. You know, don't you think you just give me a little break? You know, we just got the cat from the vet. I got the kids, you know, I mean, really. Ma'am, your time's expired. What would you have me do? You could have put more money in. I'm sorry. It's my job to do this. Why didn't you send one of your kids out? You know, the meters are designed so that you can keep putting change in. We, we, we try to make this easy for everybody, I'm sorry. Whereas before I was isolated, really cut off from society, now I feel like I'm, I'm really a part of it. And I'm communicating with people, I'm talking with them, and they like to talk to me, and it's, it's nice, it's really nice. 
But I do take my job seriously, and uh, there's a balance that has to be maintained between the social aspects of it and enforcing the law. He's given me a ticket. Wait! Wait, wait! My God, I don't want another ticket. Parking man, wait! Oh, thank God I made it. I've been shopping for something for my grandson, and I've been in all the stores, and it was so busy, and I couldn't find what I wanted. I wanted a, one of those beanie babies, and they didn't have them. I was so frustrated. Last year I got him an Elmo, and this year I want a Beanie Baby, but I want a certain one. I want Princess, and they're hard to get, but thank God I made it. Have a nice day. You son of a bitch. I think you have to take your job seriously. It's, it's not a job anymore. To me, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a vocation. It's a way of life. It's, it's a purpose for me, really. You know, so absolutely, it's my, it's my heart and soul is in it. One of the lucky ones. For me, my dream came true. <laughs>